Welcome to another Dive Live how-to video. Today we're going to discuss on how to run a meet. Go to your calendar section. The meet is already set up. Click on it. You have meet administrative privileges if you built the meet or you've assigned somebody else administrative privilege. Once you're in the meet administration, you can use our drag and drop to set the order of events if you're not happy with the order you originally set them up in. The drag and drop feature works throughout the app, a very handy thing to have, especially with the diving order. Another feature is you can register a diver at the last minute who hasn't done this on their phone. You go to the registration page, use our find, type in the first couple letters, pick out the athlete, click on their name, shows you their dive sheets. You can type in their dives. You can mark them exhibition or possibly pre-qualified. You can look at the rules for the event. You can even add a diver that's not in the system. It's not preferred, but it will work. Up top in the menu bar, you can select judges, select the event, select the number of judges. You can even assign judges by name. For those of you creating finals, this is great. Everything's automatic. Go create finals. The governing body rules will be the default. You can change them if you wish. Here we have finals, consoles, first to last, last to first, highest score, whichever you want. Pick an event or select all of the events. For the power users, we have advanced options. It brings in all the rules from all governing bodies. You can set up finals any way you want. Voluntary is first, optional is first, last to first, first to last. You build your own custom finals. Next on the menu bar, we have messages. This allows you to send a message to the entire judging panel or an individual judge if needed. Now back at the events page, here are your events. You can use drag and drop to combine events. This is great for college meets and age group meets. Single panel of judges at the end of round one of the men's begins round one of the women's event. Over on the right side, you have a lot of options. You can split boards, you can uncombine events, record events, edit events, cancel events. On the split board, great feature. It automatically splits and randomizes the board. You can assign colors. You can split as many boards as you want. You can actually rename any board if you want. We find it easier for the divers to relate to colors than the Northeast West one meter board or whatever title you may come up with. Another unique feature on our app is divers and coaches can change the dive at any time live. They have a little lock feature over here on the right that allows you to lock it. That means no dive changes will be allowed unless they go through the administration table. To unlock it, click it again, confirm that you wish to unlock it. This allows dive changes by divers and coaches using their phone. Now that we covered some of the many options, we're going to show you how to get the event up and running. Click on the event you wish to run. This allows you to run the event and score it. As you can see here on the right, we only have two judges. Click on the judging icon. I'm going to change it to three judges. I'm going to confirm that I meant to change it for three judges. There's the change. One of the features we're most proud of is you can turn your phone or a tablet into a judging pad. All you need to do is hover over the QR code. If you have the phone app, put it into judging mode, scan the QR code. If not, just take your camera, scan the QR code, and your phone will be turned into a judging pad. After judge one, hover over judge two, Scan the QR code, camera, or judging mode. Same thing with judge three. These are single-use tokens, so there can only be one judge three at any given time. There's a refresh button on the right if you happen to get kicked out to renew it. If you choose not to use our keypads, we have a very efficient way to enter scores on your keyboard. Next, click on events, upper left corner. Your events will show up. Click on the event you wish to run. From this screen, you can run the event. To use the judging keypads, click over here, 
Please note J1, J2, J3 are turned blue. That means the judges are assigned. You can click on the judging icon to change the number of judges. Okay, now you're ready to start the event. Upper right corner, start event. If you're a judge using the judging pad, you need to hit the number twice to make a half. So a five and a half will be tap, tap. Also, if you're using the keyboard, same thing. Tap, tap the number to get a half. If for any reason you need to go back and change the score, buttons on the right, click the option you want, fail dive, pass on dive, change the score, hit finish. There will be a little box around each of them to show that it's been changed and the original scores will also be saved if you need to go back to them. As you can see, when the scores come in, it highlights the next diver and moves it, no hitting the return key. If you're using the touch pads, all you have to do is announce. If for any reason you need to change the degree of difficulty in a dive, you can do it. You can override it. The program shows the right DD, the overridden DD. This is great for summer leagues or conferences that have special rules. We're going to change the DD back to the regular DD and continue the judging. By clicking on the diver's name, you can pull their diving sheet up. You can change a dive. You can use drag and drop feature to change the order of dives. You can mark them exhibition, pre-qualified. You can change the name of their coach. You can check the rules. Submit changes will automatically update the judging pads, the leaderboard, and the scoreboard. An easier way to change the dive is just to click on the dive itself, change it, and again, everything's automatically updated. If the coach or diver did not mark themselves exhibition, you can click on their dive sheet, mark them exhibition, or pre-qualified. The leaderboard will show where they rank, but will not displace any of the official divers. Here is a close-up of some of the tools you have. You can mark the dive balk, fail. This tells you the diver sheet is valid. This tells you whether it's an optional or voluntary. Change the dive to a voluntary. Warning sign says your sheet's out of compliance. Correct it. Now you're in compliance. You can click on an exhibition diver. Hover over the information buttons to find out what the requirements are. Mark them pre-qualified. Confirm. Submit changes. Most of the tools you have are self-explanatory. You've only seen a portion of the tools here that you have available. We're going to speed this meet up. One of the best features is you can put a young diver or a parent at the table with no training and have them run the meet. If everything runs perfectly, all you need is an announcer. When you get to the end of the meet, you have a chance to finalize the scores. This makes the leaderboard go from unofficial results to official results. Once you finalize the results, you also have an option as a meet administrator to go in and make any changes if needed. Turning the page, now we're going to show you what you as the meet administrator do not see. This is what the audience sees at home, the ones who are using our app. Anyone associated with the same team as the diver who's up, a follower, parent, a coach, can record the dive by only using their phone. They can press the record button and it will go to their dive sheet along with their scores. It's a great feature for divers and parents who want to see the video of their dives along with their scores. Parents, coaches, and followers using our app can now follow the meet on our Live Now page. It's easy to read, fits on your phone. It updates after every dive, shows the scores. Parents love it because they're now able to follow the meet. Any videos posted to a diver's dive sheet will be there within six seconds. You can click on dive list, see the dive list, see any videos recorded, live now, and then our leaderboard, which is updated after every score comes in. Shows you who's winning and who's not. You can share this with social media along with your score sheet and your videos. You can print out dive sheets from here as well. For governing bodies and organizations that require a qualifying score, all of our dive sheets have a QR code on the bottom. When scanned, we'll confirm that they're valid.
On the Live Now screen, clicking on the icon upper right corner brings you to some great feature screens. This is our diver view. It shows you the diver who is up and the diver who is next and the dives they're doing. You can hang this from a little iPad on the edge of the board, set up a laptop, view it on a large TV screen so the diver knows who's up and what dive they're doing. It's like a personal scoreboard for the divers. Clicking on the icon in the upper right corner, go to our announcers view. This is great for the announcers. It frees them from the table. They don't have to worry about reading a small computer screen. It shows the diver that just went, their scores, their total, the dive they did. It shows the diver who is currently up, their dives, then the diver who's on deck, and it rotates as the scores come in. This is a great feature for the announcers. They can stand wherever they want. Using the Dive Live app, the announcer can now announce off of a tablet, a laptop, no longer has to lean over a little computer screen. Parents can also follow this at home using the app. Back to the Live Now screen to video a dive and have it attached to the dive sheet. You hit record while the diver is diving. It will go right to their dive sheet along with their scores. And now we're going to show you how the video appears on your phone or your laptop or your TV, whatever you want to do it on. Find a meet you're interested in, a diver, a dive you want to see. There are the scores. There's the video. You can also share that on social media. Your scores and video will also be posted on your news feed for your team and people following you. Just a quick review. Tap, tap gives you a five and a half. This saves a lot of time in the meet. Also, if you're using a keypad, same thing. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. We find this saves a lot of time and is a lot faster and easier than using a mouse. Dive Live is available in the Apple and the Google Store right now. Dive Live is free to use. We can run free meets, paid meets, dual meets to the largest meet in the world. Thank you for watching.